Aloha kakao and welcome to this virtual service. My name is Shaku Arthur J. Kaufman from Lihue Honganji Mission of Hawaii. Please join me in Gasho. May peace prevail and may the Buddha's teachings spread. Namo Amidabutsu, Namandabas, Namandabas, Naman. This morning I'd like to talk to you about the new normal. As the pandemic continues to make its way around the world, a lot of new terminology is arising with it. One of these phrases is, of course, the new normal. This phrase has become popular over time as we have adapted our lives to the realities of COVID-19 and its prevention. We wonder down the road, what will the new normal be? If you had told me last year that we would be walking around wearing masks, social distancing, and staying at home, I would have thought you had a serious problem. But here we are. Since the situation is in total flux, it is really difficult to even consider what the new normal would be. We think of the new normal as wearing masks, social distancing, having meetings online, and, uh, but this, this phrase has a much deeper meaning to it. Going back to Shinran Shonin's time, we see that his teacher, Honen Shonin, was one of the few senior monks who left Mount Hiei to teach the common people of Kyoto. This was an unthinkable thing to do at that time. Shinran himself studied on Mount Hiei, but after 20 years of practice, he felt no closer to enlightenment than he had when he entered at age nine. Shinran set out to find a new normal and eventually found Honen, who guided him to the Nembutsu teachings which afforded Shinran the possibility of enlightenment through Buddha-centered power. While studying with Honen, Shinran realized that he had no way of understanding the, the lives of married couples. This eventually led to Shinran asking his teacher if he, Shinran, could get married. Honen replied, if you need to get married to recite the Nembutsu, get married. It is thought that Shinran was one of the first monks to marry openly. After Shinran had been studying with Honen for a while, and due to the misguided actions of two of their fellow monks, who persuaded two of the emperor's concubines to enter the clergy without the emperor's permission, resulted in their being beheaded and the exile and defrocking of both Shinran and Honen. During this period, Shinran referred to himself as neither priest nor layman. The most important thing is that they continued to spread the Nembutsu teachings, regardless of what the government had done to their status. Years later, Renyo Shonin, eighth abbot of our school, lived with a constantly changing normal when he assumed the position of Monshu, or head priest, of the true Pure Land School of Buddhism. First thing that happened was since Renyo's mother was not born into the aristocracy, for Renyo's benefit, had to leave his side, which he did, never to be heard of again. Can you imagine how crushing that might have been for Renyo? Further, Renyo, by assuming his position, also became protector of the true Pure Land Buddhism, at a time when the teachings were not well regarded on Mount Hiei, which was the long-standing center of Buddhism in Japan. The idea of practicing away from Mount Hiei was not new by then, 
But the growing popularity of the Nembutsu produced a great deal of en envy on Mount Hiei. This resulted in the prosecution, persecution of Nembutsu followers and Renyo being chased away from his temples from time to time. Still and all, Renyo contributed to spread, continued to spread the teachings of the Nembutsu. So you see, even our religious heroes had their trials and tribulations during their lives. Change, the changing of the normal, so to speak, was a common occurrence. So how did they handle these occasions? What made them go on? The answer is quite simple. They knew that there was only one normal and that the new normal was exactly as the old normal and that was a life of constant change. Namo Amidabutsu, Namandabas. I'd like to add a caution at this time. I realize that the novelty of wearing masks is wearing pretty thin for some of you. However, this is the time you have to remind yourself why we wear masks to protect ourselves and others from COVID-19. Every expert around the world has been cautioning us that the pandemic is not over. Even if there are no cases, no new cases in an area does not mean it is over. I'm sure that you heard of the new case on Kauai itself. You've also heard of that inter-island inter flights will be con continue resuming, which is not a reason to let your guard down, but is definitely a reason to maintain what we are doing. What is going to happen when we reopen the state to tourism? Do you think the impossibility of the virus would not return? Although I'm sure the state will do and be as careful as it can be, it does not mean the virus will not reappear. Fortunately, our Sangha has not lost anyone to this virus, and I would like to keep it that way. But of course, I'm only one person. I'm limited in what I can do. Our mutual protection is up to each of us individually. I don't have to remind you that this virus is a killer. Do you see what is happening to the people who ignored the precautions? Did you see how patients who had the virus were isolated from their friends and family and loved ones until they either survived or died? Do you see the desperation of the caregivers trying to keep people alive only to lose them to the virus? How tragic that is. I, for one, would not like to die just yet, if possible. So I'm going to do what I have to do to protect myself and others until the danger is past. When will that be? I have no idea. There is no instant gratification with this. I do know it's going to take, a time, take some time but there are no quick fixes to this pandemic. I only wish there were. So, all I can do is encourage you to continue performing your civic responsibility by wearing your mask, social distancing, and washing of your hands until such time that this virus can be contained and controlled however long that may be. Kambate Kurasai. Please hang in there. Please join me in Gasho. May peace prevail and may the Buddha's teachings spread. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu, Namandabas, Namandabas, Namandabas.